Hi. Today I want to talk about raw uh, wool uh, hair from sheep and the many uses of it uh, on your farm or homestead uh, and um, using it for several different things really helps on the farm. Uh, so I'm going to go over those those different ways. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natasha. I work to be self-sufficient, grow my own food, and live off the land. And I have hair sheep mainly. Um, I don't have many wool sheep. Uh, living in the tropics of Panama, um, they just, you know, wool sheep are for <laughs> more colder temperatures. But I do have uh, a couple of dorpers, which actually are more like a hair wool sheep. So, um, and this is one of them. There she is. Her name is Charisma. And um, we just sheared her. We just sheared her uh, because she had she had a lot of hair, um, and it was just really puffy and growing, um, and it was getting a little bit matted. So uh, we sheared her. Um, the other sheep are mostly hair sheep, and they don't um, they don't have wool. Uh, it, 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 it's just hair. So, and then a couple, um, and then a couple sheep are that I have are mixed. Uh, so, the um, the Dorper hair wool is it's a mixture, uh, but it. It was more wool-like, so we, we sheared her, and um, here it is. It's not cleaned yet, but this is a basket of all the hair that was on her. Uh, you can see there's some um, there's some rice husks in it, so we've got to wash it. But it truly is nature's gift um, to have this. Uh, wool like um, I guess you can call it hair wool because it is a mixture um, and to use it for several things one is actually for the bedding for the sheep and goats here um, we use rice husks but this wool can also be used as more of um, more of a um, more bedding you can mix it or put it in in an area um, when the lambs are born is also really good. Uh, another way to use this on um, the homestead is is in hanging baskets for your plants and flowers. Um, it helps to absorb the water, and it and it's a it's a nice way to um, liven up, make make your hanging baskets look uh, fuller. Uh, you can also use this for, um, it's an excellent drip irrigation for soil, uh, for fertilizer, because it still has nutrients in it. And I even um, uh, have put them in my hugel culture beds uh, um, in my zone one. You can put them, layer them when you, when you actually um, put the items in your hugel culture beds. So it helps to decompose even further. Um, so you could also use it for um, stuffing for crafts as well as, um, you know, putting them in pillows. Uh, it's really soft. I'm going to wash it with uh, just some water and some uh, Castile soap and then hang it out to dry and uh, uh, use it. Uh, in those different ways. So I'm very thankful that uh, we have a dorper here that has some wool that uh, we can use on the farm as well. So they're ready to go out to pasture. There they go. Hey guys. And so have a great day.